Before modern day telescopes, humans could only imagine what the surface of the sun and planets could look like. Now advanced technology has made it possible for us to get in close and take images of the sun and the planets deep in our solar system. Get ready to see the solar system like you've never seen before and see images that were so good that they shocked astronomers. Let's start with the star at the center of our solar system, the mighty sun. It's hard to imagine the sheer size of the sun, but did you know that it makes up 99.8% of the total mass of our solar system? That's right, everything else combined, including all the planets, moons, asteroids, and comets, makes up less than 0.2% of the total mass. The sun's diameter is about 109 times that of Earth, which means you could fit over a million Earths inside the sun. Take a look at this amazing real image of the sun captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. You can see the intricate details of the sun's surface, known as the photosphere, as well as the sun's corona, which is the outermost part of its atmosphere. Did you know that the corona is actually hotter than the sun's surface? Scientists still don't fully understand why that is, but it just goes to show how much we still have to learn about our nearest star. The Inner Planets Moving away from the Sun, we come to the four rocky planets that orbit closest to it, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are known as the inner planets or the terrestrial planets, and they all have solid surfaces and relatively small sizes compared to the gas giants further out. Let's take a look at some real images of these inner planets. Here's a picture of Mercury, taken by NASA's Messenger spacecraft. You can see the planet's rugged cratered surface, which is the result of countless impacts from asteroids and comets over billions of years. Next up, we have Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system, with temperatures hot enough to melt lead. Here's a real image of Venus captured by NASA's Magellan spacecraft, which shows the planet's incredibly thick and cloudy atmosphere. Now, of course, we have to show you an image of our very own planet Earth. Here's a stunning view of our planet taken by the crew of Apollo 17 during their mission to the moon. You can see the blue oceans, white clouds, and the brown and green land masses that make up our home planet. Finally, we have Mars, which has been a hot topic in recent years due to the search for signs of past or present life on its surface. This real image of Mars was taken by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and shows the planet's rugged and dusty terrain. The Gas Giants Moving further out from the Sun, we come to the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are much larger than the inner planets and are composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, with no solid surfaces. Let's take a look at some real images of these gas giants. Here's a stunning view of Jupiter captured by NASA's Juno spacecraft. You can see the planet's iconic Great Red Spot, a giant storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. Next up, we have Saturn, the planet with the most impressive set of rings in our solar system. Here's a real image of Saturn taken by NASA's Cassini spacecraft, which shows the planet's magnificent rings in incredible detail. Uranus and Neptune are often referred to as the ice giants because they are composed of a mix of water, methane, and ammonia ices. We sent spacecraft like Voyager and Cassini to explore these planets and their moons, and the images they've sent back are simply breathtaking. The Dwarf Planets Finally, we come to the Dwarf Planets. These are smaller bodies that don't quite qualify as full-fledged planets, but they're still important members of our solar system. The most famous of these is Pluto, which was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. We sent a spacecraft called New Horizons to explore Pluto and its moons, and the images it sent back were absolutely amazing. We've also discovered other dwarf planets like Cirrus, Eris, Haumea, and Makemake, each with their own unique features and characteristics. So there you have it, a journey through our solar system using real images captured by spacecraft and telescopes. 
It's amazing to think about the vastness of space and the incredible variety of worlds that exist in our own cosmic backyard. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.